All right, guys, this episode or volume of The Living Word is going to be a various word list. We're going to start off with the word happen. Let's say here, active, in place upon itself or the potential upon itself or the peace upon itself, expressed notion. Here, active, in place, expressed notion. What's going on here? Well, that's what we call happen. Here, active, in place, upon itself, expressed notion. Happen. Now, change just the E-N to a Y. Here, active, in place, upon itself, vitally identified. I'm happy because I vitally identify with what's happening. Here, active, peace, or place, upon itself, vitally identified. Happy. Now, think the word hippie. Here, identified, in place, upon itself, identified expression. Hippies are usually happy and they're nice people, and they're looked at as being ones who are at one with nature because they're here identified, in place, identified, expressed, and the in place is upon itself. So they're hippie. That's why a lot of them act the way they do. They're at peace if they're an ideal hippie. That's what the word means. Not saying that every hippie is just so peaceful and great, but that's what the word means. Now look at the word Hopi. If you haven't ever heard of it, look up the word Hopi, H-O-P-I. They make prophecies. Why did the Hopis make so many prophecies? Because here ongoing potential identified. Here ongoing potential identified? Oh, a prophecy. Because the Hopis make prophecies. Doesn't that make sense? If you're not hearing this, you're definitely not trying to. You're trying to block it. You want to stick with what you've known. But guess what? What you've known is wrong. Not all of it. Not your personal details, not your opinions, you're allowed to have those. But the truth behind it all, you don't know. And I'm sorry. So I have to tell you this, because I love you and care. Now the next word, quirk. Remember that Q is a circle with a line at the very bottom, or a lowercase is a a circle with a backwards J underlying and scooped up right in front of it where it would be. Just like if it was a circle with a line pointing down in front of it, it's another little circle with a hook pointing right in front of where it is because it's still coming back to the bottom line, just like the circle with the line in front of it or the line through it to the right in front of it, like a kickstand on a cue. So the word quirk, the thing on cue, underlying, identified, the reference, kinetic. What a quirk. They have, they're very quirky because the on cue, underlying, identified, reference, kinetic, or quirk. Now, look at the word coffee. Concept ongoing, form upon form, expressed upon expression. So we say the concept ongoing, form upon form, expressed expression. Because you drink coffee, so this is going to be a constant thing to you. If you're just talking about the word coffee, then you could say unseen, ongoing. Unseen concept ongoing, Form upon form, expressed upon expression. So that means that it's going to get your force or your form expressing. Concept ongoing, form upon form, expressing upon expressing. Coffee. Now take the word Java, which is another word for coffee, or where coffee has an associated term. Junction, active, vitally active. Oh, so if you want to get up and go, junction active, vitally active. Java, see how those words mean to give you energy. Now, think of the word coward. Remember, C is either the concept or the constant to the person or the unseen concept because like I've said before, A is the vowel with your mouth open, A or A. B is the consonant with your lips close, B, they come together, Eb, like that. And then C is where you open your mouth to make an S sound from something inside or a K sound from inside because it's open just to make a K or a s, it's coming from inside. It's constant to the, to the individual, or it's the unseen concept from the mouth. So the word coward, concept ongoing, or unseen concept ongoing, plural, active reference to and from. So if we have a plural active reference to and from, the ward, the thing that you're going toward, the when you're going forward, it's like the concept ongoing or the unseen concept ongoing, Plural active reference to and from. That to and from thing, you're not going to do because you're afraid of it. The unseen concept ongoing. Plural active reference to and from. Coward. Now think of the word courage. Concept ongoing 
One U, not a W. Concept ongoing. U, unit or underlying. Reference, active, generating expression. So when something's bad or something's whatever, or you're not afraid, your concept ongoing unit, reference, acts, generates expression because you have the courage to do. Concept ongoing, underlying reference, active generating expression. Courage. Now, another word is cousin. Think of the word cousin. Concept ongoing underlying or concept ongoing unit. Subject identified notion. Are they not identified with your notion? Because they're part of your family? It's the unseen concept or the constant to you. Ongoing, underlying, subject, identified, notion. A member of your family. Of your subject identified notion. Of your sin, of your sign, of your sound, of your family. Concept, ongoing unit, subject, identified, notion. Now, look at the word element. Now, this may cause a stir if you get offended by words about God. But E-L is one of the original God names. We know meant means either of the mind or what it amounts to. So we'd say the God expressed mind or the, what God expresses and amounts to. Or you could say when we're talking about just an element of surprise or one of the elements, we could say expression as it lies, expressing, manifested, expressed, notion, plus. An element is something that when you combine them together, they make things. So as it is, it's just the expressed, as it lies, expression, manifesting, expressed, notion, plus, the element. Now, another way to say that would be God's basic energy amounts to, or God's mind and expression, because it's Ella meant one L, not two, not E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, like a girl, because it's got two E's, an expression between these two L's expressing. That's why. So, it wouldn't be a proper volume of the living word if I didn't at least break down the word various, since that is this title. Various. Vital, active, reference. Or vitally, active, active here. Identified, ongoing, units. Three different vowels, which change the vowel. So it's identified, and now it's ongoing, and it's underlying. Three separate things. Something that's identified, something that's ongoing, and something that's a unit or an underlying thing. So separate things, identified, ongoing, unit, subjected. So it's various. Vital, active, reference, identified, ongoing, unit, subjected. It's various. It's all kinds of different things can happen. It can identify, it's ongoing, and there's different units subjecting. Three different vowels right in a row. Consonants are sent together. Vowels change the vital ongoing plural. That's what those words mean. So I'm only going to leave it at that. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I love you. And until next time, peace and keep learning. Because we're all part of the living world. And it's all the living word. Peace.